Second lesson, we're going to compare and order rational numbers. So, first up we have negative three and a half compared to negative nine and two thirds. The fractions are only here to try to draw your attention. They're not actually doing anything. One half and two thirds have no bearing on this problem because negative three and negative nine, the whole number parts, are different. So the question simply can be, which is bigger between negative three and negative nine? So which would you rather owe somebody, three dollars or nine dollars? You'd rather owe three bucks. So negative three is larger than negative nine. With negative five and negative 8.6, again, the decimal is just there to waste your time. Negative five and negative eight, the whole numbers are different. And negative five is larger than negative eight. We have negative 3.45 and 3.45 next. Don't overthink this. Positive numbers are always bigger than negative numbers. Then we have negative 5.55 and negative 5 and 11 twentieths. These are not the same form of a number. Negative 5 is the same, but I don't know if 0.55 or 11 twentieths is larger. So we're actually going to do 11 divided by 20 to change the second number into a decimal. Because we already know the negative 5. This will just give us the part after the decimal. So 20 goes into, we put our decimal point in at 0. 20 goes into 110 five times, and that's 100. And we get 10 when we subtract. So we add a 0 and drop it. 20 goes into 100 five times perfectly. So this is really negative 5.55. These two numbers are exactly the same. They are equal to each other. They're just in different forms. And last, we're going to put this list of numbers in order from least to greatest. So we have a negative number, and we have two positive numbers in different forms. Obviously, I hope, from least to greatest, the negative number is definitely going to come first. Now the question is 6 and 3 quarters and 6.7, which of those comes next? Well, 6 and 3 quarters, I hope we all know, is 6.75. You shouldn't need to do any work for that. You should know point, or 3 fourths is 0.75 at this point. 6.7, to make our lives easier, we can extend to 7, 0. We're allowed to add that 0 on. That way we're essentially comparing 670 with 675. Obviously, 670 comes next. In our list, we have to keep it the same way it was given to us, so we have to write 6.7. And our largest number is that 6.75, but it was given to us as 6 and 3 quarters, so we have to list it in our list of answers as six and three quarters.